Well, hello, Midlife Love Mastery members. I'm your host, Jonathan Asley, and I'm so excited to be shooting another short video for you today. It's a morning cup of Jonathan, and today we have our Got Jonathan mug that was a gifted to me by one of our members, Moist. She'll get that joke. And our shirt today, which is quite appropriate, is Kindness is So Gangsta. Kindness is so gangsta. And I'm sporting a lot of scruff today. I need to shave. So, all right, let's just jump right into our topic. How to kindly end a short-lived relationship. So one of our newest members uh, recently or yesterday posted um, a question. I think it started off, how do you reject a guy kindly? And, um, and she goes on to share a bit of the, the backstory. And I'll be candid with you. I, I didn't like the choice of words reject. And, and, and I do understand where she was going because when we don't choose to pursue something with someone that might have feelings for us, to them it might feel like a rejection. And yet, why I don't like that choice of words? Because it's not a true rejection. It's just, it's, rejection is, a, is an egoic way of feeling bad about oneself. And I'm not sure I want to adopt that philosophy, but I get the point and I get the choice of words. And quite frankly, it's not her responsibility to be concerned how he perceives it. Does that make sense? It's not our responsibility to uh, be concerned about how someone receives it. What's most important is how we deliver the message, okay? Because it's not a rejection, it's just saying, I don't want to continue going forward with you. That's it, that's all it is. I don't want to continue going forward with you. For And I'm entitled to whatever reason I want. So. Today, we're gonna to explore how to do that in the most kindest way. Um, because how we communicate to others, um, our truth is important in the sense of, I believe we can always do it in the most kindest, loving way. We don't have to be direct uh, to the point of hurting someone's feelings. And I think that's where she was going with it. So. So one of the, ch the first chapter in my book is called Speak Your Truth, Do It With Kindness. So I thought, how apropos. And, you know, there's a couple different ways to go about this. So I would first, oh, and let me, let me just say this. Um, I forgot to give you the backstory with this. So she met a really nice guy, kind, courteous, gentlemanly. Uh, they went out for several dates over the course of about a month. So I just want to give you a backstory. So, you, and it's a very familiar tale. You meet someone who's kind, considerate, you know, good, good on paper, all that stuff. And you go out with them one, two, maybe 10 times. And you're just not feeling, you're not feeling that energetic connection. And that's what I got a sense was she wasn't feeling that. Okay, so I went out of order, but hopefully we're back to how do we speak our truth? How do we say to someone in the kindest loving way that we don't wanna to continue to see them? If you've ever heard the, the term ham sandwich or the Oreo cookie, which my friend, Dr. Sherry Myers calls it, is you start with something positive, you give them meat and you end with something positive, okay? So you start, start with something positive. Tim, I just want you to know, I really appreciated the time um, we both took to get to know one another. You're a very kind, considerate, caring person. I wanna just be um, transparent with you. I'm not feeling an energetic connection. And because of that, I don't wish to continue going forward with um, pursuing a relationship with you. And this is not a reflection of you. It's just a reflection of energetic chemistry. And you, as I said, you're a really kind, considerate person. And I want to wish you all the best. Now, that might be a little bit convoluted, but you get the gist of where I'm going. I start with something positive, gave the meat, and then ended with something positive again. I think the best thing to do is look inside yourself and ask what's your truth and what's the kindest way you can say it. I believe most of the time when we don't want to pursue something with someone that's a good fit, it's your intuition telling you it's not a good fit. And that's okay. 
It could also be fear and your ego telling you not it's not a good fit. And that's okay too, if, because even if it's fear, that's telling you that you're not ready for a relationship. But that's a whole nother topic altogether. You might want to noodle on that for a second. If fear is causing you to, to um, not experience energetic connection, that's the time to look within. That's the time to do a lot more self-love work. Okay, so we're talking about how to do it kindly. I think you get the gist of where I'm going here. I think it's possible to be very kind to someone um, when ending a relationship. And frankly, I think these days it's okay to even do it via text message. Bump, bump, bump. I know that might have shocked a few of you. But the reality is, is that this isn't, a, you know, this isn't a marriage. This isn't, uh, I'm not even sure that they even were intimate together. But even if they were, the benefit of doing communication sometimes via text or email is it allows the other person to process their feelings without having to be in a confrontational circumstance. Now, I'm not saying it's always this case, but if it's a short-lived, I, I'm okay with sending a text message and you're just being upfront. It's still communication. Now, some of you might feel a little bit awkward about doing that. I think it's good for both people. I've heard a lot of women complain that men don't have the balls to tell them in person that they're going to reject them, but you know, that they've done it over text. But I see it a different way. I see that as the kindest, gentlest way to do it because nothing is, since you use the word rejection, it does feel pretty harsh getting that in, you know, having that happen in direct time with someone um, because then it puts both people in an awkward situation. And again, I'm talking about a short lived relationship. You get the gist of where I'm going. All right, let's get a conversation going. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Please post a comment below. Um, you know, if you reject some of what I said, I want to hear about it. Um, just do it kindly. <laughs> Um, but I certainly want to hear, let's get a dialogue going about how to end a relationship the kindest way. As always, if you find value in the group, please tell your friends about Midlife Love Mastery. Send them to my website, jonathanasley.com. Have them click the group coaching button so they can join our fantastic group. And I'm going to sign off this video as I always do, giving you a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug if I have your consent. Aw, thank you. Oh, wishing you a wonderful day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye now.